good morning beautiful people and welcome back to my channel i'm finishing up my matcha mm. if you're new here my, that was so dramatic mm. <laughs> anyway if you're new here okay welcome to the party welcome to some fun my name is shakayla i create and share delicious plant-based recipes if you're returning, you already know. Thank you so much for being here. It really does mean a lot to me. Last week, I asked you guys, you know, give me some suggestions on meals that I can make. Like, what would you like to see me cook? And y'all came through. So thank you so much to respond to that. And so what you girl is doing today, I'm actually orchestrating, creating, developing, I don't know what the word is that we should be using here, but that's okay. But using the suggestions that y'all gave me i'm creating the meals that i'm eating today i'm gonna finish my matcha and we are gonna get into this video Gotta shout out y'all well who suggested that I make more smoothies in my videos. Y'all know I typically stick to my dragon fruit smoothie, which is my go-to, but it was cool to kind of venture out and try something new. Fun fact about me, when I find something I like, I tend to stick to it. I don't typically like stray away or try new things when I found that one thing I like. So thank you Yawa for suggesting that I create more smoothies. And so that's why we have this peaches and cream smoothie, which I mean, it's just a peach smoothie with vanilla um, protein powder, but we're gonna be fancy and call it a peaches and cream smoothie. And it's so delicious. Put in that granola in here. Hold on baby, cause I gotta add a little bit more. Put in the granola in here so it's like when you go to drink it, you kind of get like a little crunch in there and I love texture in my food. All right, it is time for lunch. I have a little under an hour to cook up something. I have my extra firm tofu. And then I recently purchased this, is that the front of it? Yeah, this like seaweed sprinkle. So it's for a kake. I love for a kake. It is so good. I use it on, um, so it's, a, it's, so this is inspired by the Japanese for a which means sprinkle over. It says oceans balances blend of seaweed, sesame seeds, and smoky bonito flakes. So it has like that of the sea flavor, but it's so good. I cooked this before. I don't know if I had it in a video on here or not, but what I typically do, I just, and of course I'll show y'all everything, but this tofu. So, <sighs> okay, let me get my thoughts together because I'm kind of all over the place. But one thing that I do want to mention before I go into like the recipe details, I get a lot of questions as to why I freeze my tofu. I like to freeze the tofu because it changes the texture completely. It's like less gummy, less chewy. And once you freeze it and then let it thaw out, it has more of a like a bite to it. Let me get my thoughts together. I feel like I'm talking to Mal a minute. Am I talking to Mal a minute? I gotta be talking about it. I'm just kidding. I know I was doing that. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna use the <laughs> I'm gonna use the fur kake seasoning. It has a lot of flavor. Here's my tofu. But yeah, y'all, this is really delicious. I love fur kake so much.
of the day. I'm about to go. I closed my laptop and I'm done right now. I ain't doing no more work because it's time to eat some food. That's my seven o'clock song. Lips a little chapped, but oh, let me get that out because dinner, y'all, dinner is about to be off the train. Let me tell y'all what I'm making because I wrote everything down. So Alexis L as well as Don Vision, y'all gave me a wonderful idea to make a soup and then to also put the soup in a bread bowl. So we are about to make some broccoli cheddar soup and put it in a little bread bowl and it's gonna be so delicious. I can't wait. Y'all, this broccoli soup is off the chain. But when you put it in a bowl, y'all, and this is a recipe that I have on my website. from the top so I am about to just kind of like vibe out I am going to put Real Housewives of Beverly Hills on in the background I'm going to finish prepping everything um, again this recipe is on my website so if you want to make it which I highly suggest you make it um, it's really good so it does call for which y'all will see, but it calls for vegan cheese, vegan cream, yeah, vegan cheese and vegan cream cheese. Um, what if you are not a fan of using like substitutes like this? Instead of cream cheese, you can kind of you can just soak some cashews and do like a cashew cream sauce because I just use the cream cheese to help thicken it. And then from a cheese standpoint, if you make your own vegan cheese at home, whether it be like using the potatoes and carrot method. Um, you can do that but I knew the taste I wanted to go for with this so I didn't want to do all that the soup is really easy to make so I'm about to put my show on and we about to vibe out we about to vibe out we about to vibe out we about okay clearly I'm in like a singing and dancing mood I'm just on it this week. Um, but, okay, let me start talking. Let's get to cooking. Go take it to dad. You wanna play? Let me play with you. Okay, y'all, I'm at the pause of cooking because my baby down here, buddy, he wants to play ball with his balls. So I'm about to go play with him for like 10 minutes and then I'll be back to finish cooking. All right, I'm back. Just finished playing with this boy. So now we get to cook and watch our show.
Okay, so you saw my bread is in the oven. I'm just toasting it a little bit, but I'm so excited. It was so funny. So this past weekend, we were in Arizona. I may have mentioned that, maybe not, but we're in Arizona with Brandon's aunt and uncle, just having like a little couple's, um, I guess vacation and they like to watch my YouTube videos like they'll just put it on and like let it play and they'll watch the videos and she had made a comment and she was like I just love your videos and like the little things that you do and how you're always like oh I wish y'all could smell this and it just made me think about y'all I wish y'all could smell this soup because it smells so good so good I've been like tasting a little bit of it so I'm about to have my soup Big brother comes on. It's a good night. I do wish I had a little bit of a bigger bread bowl, but I feel like this is okay. Like if I want more soup, I can just refill it, but this is so delicious. But y'all, I am so excited for um, Big Brother. Like it's, I've been talking about Big Brother in just about like the past four videos and it's delicious. I mean, <laughs> I was thinking about the soup and it's amazing. Um, okay, yes. Shouting out Alexis L. Thank you again for the inspiration for tonight's dinner as well as Don Vision. I really like this, like where y'all help me come up with meals to share, um, where you kind of curate what I eat for the day. I feel like this was fun. I am gonna have some dessert a little later today, maybe while the show is on. Hmm. Y'all, this is so delicious. I can't wait to like break the bread down because now that like the soup is like making the bread all soggy. Mm-hmm. Right there, there we go. Yes, this is about to be so delicious. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Running in there, working out. This is me. Y'all, and as a dessert, I'm gonna have these Sweet Lauren's cookies, y'all. I've clearly been eating them, but they are so good.